hope you're having a great day in quarantine. Today we're gonna to be talking about the increase in coronavirus cases here in El Paso, what's being done to help those who are currently out of a job, and the accusation of price gouging at San Eli Supermarket. Recently, there's been a post circulating Facebook about price gouging at San Eli Supermarket. The post was put up by 915 on blast and shows a photo taken at San Eli Supermarket of bottled water. The water is a 24 pack of sports bottles, the ones with the different lids, priced at $10.99, which would make them about 46 cents a bottle. And the regular top bottle water, a 15 pack for $8.99, which would make it about 60 cents a bottle. This is in fact not a steep price for bottled water. Unfortunately, the math was not done prior to this post being uploaded, which an accusation like this really can hurt a business. As of today, the post is still up and has had over 1,600 likes, as well as many shares. San Eli Supermarket did make a response to this. We would like to apologize for any rumors or misunderstandings that are being spread over Facebook. The cases of water for $10.99 are 24 packs of 24 fluid ounces, sports bottles with flip tops. And those are much larger than the regular size 16.9 fluid ounces cases of water. Here at San Eli Supermarket, we value our customers and our community very much and would never take advantage of their patronage. Our managers are working arduously with various vendors to fulfill the needs of our customers. Thank you for all your patience as we work hard to restock all of your needs. We appreciate your continued support of San Eli Supermarket. On March 18th, I talked about the three coronavirus cases that were here in El Paso. Since then, the number has rose to 10. A woman in her late 60s, a teenage girl, and a young man in his 20s all appear to have been travel related. Four of the other cases are those from Fort Bliss. A soldier who was recently in New York, two of his roommates, and now another soldier are infected. And it's being reported that Texas now has over 616 cases, while Juarez is reporting four. On March 19th, Greg Abbott responded to the rapidly spreading disease by shutting down bars, restaurants, gyms, schools, and limiting social gatherings until April 3rd. Restaurants are allowed to give takeout, and Abbott even waived an ordinance against liquor to go. As of now, he has decided not to issue a statewide shelter-in-place order, but he is encouraging city leaders to make that decision in places that are reporting cases. Dallas and Fort Worth have seen an increase in restrictions. We will be saving lives if we can slow down the progress of this virus. I'm gonna be linking down below in the description a video about what happens to your body when you get the coronavirus, as well as why are we seeing these shutdowns. As I said in my last video, El Paso City Council said that they would be discussing the relief efforts for those that are currently out of a job and losing wages due to the shutdown. Unfortunately, this did not happen on Friday and currently there is no word on what efforts, if any, will be made. On that note, the U.S. Senate did not pass a bill that would have sent out checks to Americans. On one side of it, you had the Democrats who would not vote for the bill, claiming that it helped businesses too much with bailouts and tax breaks, while not giving enough to lower income Americans. On the other hand, Republicans claimed that they were offering corporates a loan that would need to be paid back and that the stimulus checks for Americans would be to keep the economy moving. According to this bill, individuals who made less than $75,000 would be given a check of 1200 This can actually increase for people with children and the $75,000 cap does not include married couples who file joint. In those cases, numbers would seem to increase to $150,000 income for this check and people that make less than $2,500 in income would not qualify. And this would be based off the 2018 taxes. One side of the argument is that those making less than $20,000 are the most in need, while others argue that those individuals would already be receiving government aid, such as food stamps or housing. While we wait in quarantine for this to be over, there is help available for those who need it. Schools are actually providing meals for children ages 1 to 18, regardless of enrollment. I'm going to provide a link down below so that you can find out where these meals are being provided and at what time. There's also a group that is offering to shop for elderly and those at risk. I will link their information down below. They are offering free delivery for your groceries. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's something you want me to include in my next video, be sure to message me over on Facebook and we'll talk more soon.